So, well, you guys know me, of course, I'm John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. For this video, I'm in my apartment, my new apartment, this one. Moved from uh, good old Kitasenju, or uh, Aoi, where my local area was, out here to uh, Nerima Ward. But that's not really the point of all this. Today, of course, is the day. The day when everything on this island and this nation changed forever. I'm of course referring to the massive 9.0 plus earthquake that rocked the entire nation of Japan. And led to the start of one of the worst nuclear disasters in human history. It's of course talking about... Um, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant disaster, which is still ongoing. Four years now since all that started, and I was here. I experienced it. It was a hell of a day. Man, that earthquake rocked the entire island. Everybody felt it in a serious way. It wasn't like 4.5 or 5.0 quake. Or like, you know, you're in Tokyo and you might feel a slight rumble. Nah. It wasn't like that at all. Like, I've talked about it before in previous um, anniversary videos, but I was teaching that day. Back when I was teaching adult students, mainly. And, and that thing hit and I thought, well, just another earthquake. This one's kind of strong. It started out that way. But quickly... <laughs> The entire building started shaking in a manner that we all knew this was something a bit more than the normal type of quake we had come to experience. So we all ducked under tables. Man, that building was rattling so hard. I mean, it was rippling. You could feel it. The ground is rippling. And, you know, there was a couple of seconds there where I thought I was going to die. I thought this was over. But luckily, that didn't happen. And here we are today, four years later. The cleanup and recovery effort from the tsunami that came is still proven to be kind of shit. You know, the government claimed they're trying, but still the area is barely recovered. Still large areas that are useless. People still displaced from their homes, their communities. You know, and even speak of Fukushima, that's just, that's fucking horrible. You know, there's still always no go zones, which will probably be there forever. All the governments, although the governments lifted some of those restrictions, but most people here in Japan know you'd have to be a damn fool to return to those areas. Because the radiation is still out of control, the levels are still quite high. The plant itself is still a terrible mess. And over the years, we keep learning and learning more and more about exactly why. Exactly why it's so horrible and why things can't get done up there. Despite it being kind of an unprecedented nuclear disaster, there's a lot of other things going on, most notably massive corruption, you know, Misuse of funds, a lot of greed, Yakuza involvement, which makes it just worse than it should be. Man, when the Yaks are up there getting people unfair to work in the area, the way they treat those people, the way they take them for a ride, you know, all those people they offer. I've seen some of the advertisements here in Tokyo offering, you know, people to go up there and work, and they offer pretty good daily money. But most of that money is eaten up through your housing, which they take out of your payment for that, and your food, and even sometimes even safety equipment they're charging for. So you end up making a very little money and sometimes no money and sometimes end up in debt. It's really horrible. You know, and anytime you know, workers try to organize and fight, we've had accounts here come out of day laborers going missing for even talking to labor unions. 
Although the, the organized labor that has got together have been fighting TEPCO as best they can. There's been several actions that some of the unionized workers have been able to take, but it's a hell of a situation to be in for a worker and to really have an uphill battle. You know, you even have the old dirty local corrupt politicians. Of course, you want to have that. You have, you know, these contractors, a lot of them connected to Yakuza, some of them not. You know, foregoing any type of safety measures of letting people know exactly how much radiation they're exposed to so they can keep working on beyond the point they should be working there. Because, you know, as we all know, once you reach a, once you reach a certain level of exposure, you got to leave. You got to get out of there. You've been exposed to too much, too fast. You got to go. You got to get some proper health checks. You got to be away there for a while to make sure you're okay. Until you could, you know, come back, which, you know, who would want to? But there's a lot of people who do need to go back because they need the money. There's all that going on. And then there's, there's TEPCO itself, the company responsible for this power plant. And all their lies and half-truths and stubbornness and you know, aloofness and just being just a slimy, slimy corporation in general with the whole deal. And, you know, and then we have this all going on four years later. All the protest actions, especially here in Tokyo, the anti-nuclear movement in Japan, we got renewed vigor after all this, and I've been through a lot of these protests, and some of them were really large. Then there are a few historic ones that were massive. We've never seen, you know, protests like that in Japan, especially on anti-nuclear, in a long time. <coughs> and people are still protesting, they're still fighting all this. But yet we have a government here that puts its head in the sand, ignores everything about Fukushima and everything about the extreme dangers of nuclear power doesn't want to admit the jack you know and just keep saying we're going to restart some of them and it looks like inevitably they probably will I think I did a video a while back basically saying yeah they're probably going to start a few of them, restart a few of them which I know the reaction that people are going to have to that they're going to fight it and truly really, I think a bad move yeah, all you're going to do is turn the people against you even more. You, you know, Abe's already, you know, his popularity is starting to wane and people are slowly starting to wake up to this jackass. You know, doing that, shooting yourself in the foot, but I'm sure he's going to do it any damn way because, you know, be damned if he allows the growing um, renewable energy industry to flourish here in Japan, which it slowly has been. Especially since uh, after Fukushima started, there's been a lot of solar power plants, massive solar power plant projects getting up and going. And a lot of geothermal has also become popular here in Japan. There's several local projects going up with that. You know, but be damned if he lets that go on. You know, um, the government for him had actually set up a system to uh, force power plant companies to buy a certain percentage of the energy produced by these renewable power renewable energy sources at a fixed mar fixed rate so but you know obviously you know fuck that man the visible hand of the free market will decide and of course it's going to decide nuclear power and i'm going to make sure they make that the free market makes that decision we all know what that means you know he's going to take care of his nuclear buddies you know, he purged the entire uh, nuclear safety committee that the previous government had set up, which and that committee come out and said, we need to get rid of all this nuclear power. It's terrible, it's horrible, it's not good for us. He purged that committee of everyone who voted or had the opinion that we need to get rid of it and replaced them with people who said, yeah, we need nuclear power here in Japan. It's good for us. We have no alternative, you see. You see. We've been dealing with that these past four years. So yeah, I thought I'd do a video just reflecting on the past four years. If you experienced all this in Japan when it happened four years ago, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section of this video below.
regardless of where you see it, YouTube, Facebook, wherever, Twitter, wherever, I'd like to hear what you think. What your thoughts on the past four years have been. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Checking out.